and today I'm going to talk about the serum markers that are used to diagnose what you call myocardial infarction right for heart attack in general what we call so serum markers the timing you should be knowing very well because when they are elevated what's a peak and when they will return to normal because when we have to order for investigation of that particular enzyme or a serum marker is really very important okay so let's talk about the three important what you call serum markers one is a ck mb then we have what you call uh, troponin i and i and t and ldh okay guys so CKMB is elevated by what time? It starts elevating by 4 to 8 hours after MI. Remember, right? 4 to 8 hours. Whereas troponin INT is 3 to 6 hours. So almost similar to this, but earlier is a troponin, remember. LDH is after 24 hours. Okay, guys? They elevated by this time. Starts in the blood what you call you can find the CKMB or these certain markers in the blood by this time once the peak of the CKMB levels the maximum levels in the blood is at 18 hours whereas troponin INT is a 16 hours and LDH is 3 to 6 days okay guys 3 to 6 days CKMB returns normal by two to three days. Two to three days. Troponin I and T by seven to ten days. Seven to ten days. And the LDH by eight to fourteen days. Okay, guys. So these are the important what you call serum markers used for a diagnosis of. EMI, that's a myocardial infarction in general, we, what we call is a um, heart attack. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this video, take care.